And I'm back at it again. It's DJ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Bull Cow in the building. Hey, oh, I'm live. Did I get caught singing? Anyways, Uncle Bull Cow back in the building once again. And this people been telling me to review this for the longest. I have never tried it. I do like Tabasco, original Tabasco sauce in Bloody Marys. And when they came out with the green jalapeno one, that was my, my oldest daughter. That was her favorite sauce. So I always kept it in my house and I'd eat it on my breakfast and stuff. So um, mixed feelings on Tabasco, you know, regular Tabasco. I'm from New York. We make buffalo wings. I'm a Frank's Red Hot kind of guy. So I never used Tabasco much as a child. Um, but it does have its uses. So not bashing Tabasco, just saying I don't I don't know how this is gonna be. But people been uh they've been telling me to review it for a while. And I'm like, man, Tabasco, I don't want to do a review on Tabasco sauce. But since I just reviewed the uh Tabasco uh pepper jelly the other day, I figured why not, you know? So we'll do uh, I got a cracker. I got some, this is the best, guys, a cup of chili. This is uh, leftover chili, venison chili from yesterday. So you know it's going to be awesome. Chili is always better the uh, the second day. And if you don't agree with me, then I, I we, we can't be friends. Walker, Texas, Pepper, you love all Tabasco? Seriously, yeah. I, like I said, oh, no, no. Listen, when they first, the habanero one was kind of sweet or something about it. But when they first came out with the habanero one, I loved it. Um, and the garlic one, yes, I'm a big fan of the garlic one. And the green one I was. It's just not that hot to me now. So original Tabasco, I just did not like it as a kid. Um, but it does have its uses. I put it in cocktail sauce. I put it in uh, Bloody Mary, stuff like that. So, all right, let's give this uh, let's give it its fair shake, okay? At least I know one thing. It's not going to be, uh-oh. Ooh. It's not going to be bitter. I know that. Oh, it's very hard to get out of the bottle, guys. I am, I am working this hard, man. It's my arm's starting to hurt. I get, get out of there! Get out of there! Oh, I want to get enough of it on the cracker. What's going on here? It's pretty good. So it's thick. It's actually not thin like the original Tabasco. It's thicker than any Tabasco I've ever had. That's weird. Wow. I've actually had this for a while. It's been sitting in my cupboard. You see, I see that I'm on my lunch break every day. As soon as I clock out for lunch, the phone starts ringing. People start coming to the door. Um, if I don't take a lunch, though, my bosses get mad at me. So let, let's do the, uh, and then they call back again. And they'll just call 30 times in a row. So, oh, yeah, now we're talking. You guys see that? Can you see? I don't know if you guys can see that. It's hard because the camera's there. Oh, yeah. Oh, it looks like I just poured ketchup. That's a lot. All right. Let's see what it does in the chili. It's chili really hot, though. So. Not bad at all. By the way, yeah, Tabasco sauce and chili is good. So... I don't know if any of you guys remember this, but way back in the days, Dunkin' Donuts used to actually sell chili in a cup, a cup of chili. It was like 99 cents. And guess what? You got a little pack of crackers with it. I think they were saltines. So, uh, yeah, I mean, me, I mean, as a, you know, a broke teenager, probably 14, 15, 16, um, going down the street and just grabbing a dollar cup of chili with some crackers was good. Matter of fact, in the beginning, this is what's crazy. When I was younger, so probably up till I was maybe probably 16, you used to get a piece of bread with butter with <coughs> the chili <coughs> at Dunkin' Donuts. So it was later on in life. They took away the bread and butter and just gave you a pack of crackers with it. But still, for a dollar, you ate that cup of chili and them crackers and fill you up and keep you full for a couple hours and get you by. So, yeah. So, that's not bad at all. Um, It's not bitter. 
A lot of scorpion sauces are bitter or somewhere between the bitter and floral. It's got good heat to it. I'm very, very impressed. Not that I, I didn't I didn't think it was gonna be nasty. I just hmm. I didn't think it was gonna be nasty. I just didn't think it would be this good. It's not bad at all, guys. It's only a couple bucks too, so yeah, I would suggest this. Um, it's got good heat to it. There are other sauces, you know, they're habanero. Back when, I mean, I remember back when if you went to the grocery store, the hottest sauce you could get was the Tabasco habanero. Um. Yeah, like I said, I don't use the regular the original Tabasco too much. I don't even think I have any in my house. But I used to. I used to always keep some around. I like it in the cupboard. The original Tabasco, don't put it in the fridge. Leave it in the cupboard or leave it out, and it starts turning brown. That's money right there. You want to talk about certain hot sauces. <laughs> you want them to get that, that aged kind of oxidation to them. You're going to do the fudge review today? Awesome, my man. Yeah, I hope you like it. Uh, what I sent you um, was I sent you the number two fudge. So there's four levels. Actually, somebody has one. There's one piece of level five. That's uh, we're, we're not even going to go there. But anyways, you got level two. You will be able to handle it. But you will get burnt off of it. So I'm not worried about you. Uh, you know, getting crazy cap cramps as long as you eat something before. Um, not worried about you getting in complete panic mode. But um, but it will light you up. That's a fact. That level two is uh, salted caramel. It's got a very peppered for pepper forward flavor because it has tincture, um, and it has a lot of powder in it. So yeah, yeah, Robert, I think you were gonna. Um, I think you're gonna love it, and you'll love the, the sweetness and the flavor. It's toffee and salted caramel fudge. So also, I think it's gonna light you up. So yeah, so yeah, man. Um, not bad at all. And I, you know what? I've seen a lot of people review this, and everybody I've seen review it liked it. And I was like, wow. So I grabbed it, and this has been in my cupboard. I mean, I just took it out of the box just right before I got in the video, and I've had this in my cupboard for. Holy cow. I don't know, three months or so. Let me see if I can read the ingredients off here. Ingredients. Scorpion pepper, distilled vinegar, sugar, guava puree, pineapple salt, guava powder, pineapple powder, Tabasco brim pepper sauce. Hmm. So that's all what's in it. <clears throat> I'm glad it's not sweet. It has a little, very little sweet notes. A lot of times what happens is people put um, sugar or like the guava paste, the pineapple, they actually put it in um, they actually put it in the sauce to take away from the uh, the bitterness. So, hey, Steve, Heat My Shorts is in the building. If you guys haven't done so, go check out Heat My Shorts. Subscribe to his channel. Also, check out Walker Texas Peppers. They're both commenting here. So if you forget what where I'm telling you to go, just click on their uh, their name. So how you doing, brother? Hey, did you uh, did you did you review this before? I think you did. I don't know. Yeah, my phone is. If I if you guys the ringtone's on low, so if, if you guys do hear a little ringing in the background, I, I forgive me. I'm at work. Um, they they don't let us. I will work through lunch. I've done it plenty of times, but um. Uh, they told us we have to clock out for a break and lock the office up and, and just don't answer the door of the phone. You're taking your half hour. And you know what? I'm all right with that because I get to have lunch with you guys, you know? If you guys see my video yesterday, I actually had some chili. Um, Steve, I did that scorpion sauce that you reviewed, the same one, the fresh finds. Um, it wasn't as bad. It was, it was, it was hot, you know, it, the flavor wasn't too bad, but, uh, the Reaper one I reviewed, like, I don't know, a month ago, it, it was very bitter. So I still do have the Fresh Finds Ghost. I'll review that sometime down the road. Oh, I got a video for you guys to watch tonight, man. We haven't uploaded it yet. 
But me and Mrs. Bull Cow, we mixed six of Smoking Ed Curry sauces together. Five of them were like five of his hottest sauces. And then there was one that wasn't as hot as those, but we only put a little drop in. But we mixed them all together and ate on uh, tacos and or burritos. And man, it was the absolute one of the best hot sauces I've ever had. And it was one of the hottest hot sauces I've ever had. I got lit off of it. Mrs. Bolkow got cat cramps off eating hot sauce on burritos. So somehow mixing them together, man, I'm going I'm to I'm send that video to Ed Curry and be like, hey, brother, you might have to do some blends. That would work. If you look at Yellowtail, the wine company, years back they started mixing Shiraz with Chardonnay, Merlot with, you know, uh, no, no Pinot Noir. They were doing blended wines. And man, that stuff that stuff took off. So yeah, let's uh, let's 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 try to talk Ed Curry and blending some of his sauces together, making some kind of all star sauce. Who knows? But me and Mrs. Bokai were just she makes his sauces a lot, and um, I do yellow. Oh, yellowtail. Yeah, yeah, yellowtail is good stuff, man. Especially for six dollars a bottle. I mean, I don't drink it. Um, I mean, I'll drink a glass once in a while, no doubt. But um, usually with that yellowtail, I, I cook with it, and I'll have a glass with whatever I cook with, and man, it is awesome. Yeah, yeah, you can't beat it. So yeah, we're just uh, talking about how we we got. You know what we got right here? But Walker Texas Pepper Heat, my shorts, and myself. We're not just pepperheads. We're suicidal tendencies fans. That's right. That's uh, that was my favorite band. It probably still could be. I mean, I just. But growing up, ST, it'll always be, don't get down on me, because I'm down, OG. <laughs> yeah, man. Steve, I got to send you some stuff, buddy. Um, I'll get a hold of you, and we'll, um, well, I'll get your address and try to figure out how to do it. I know it's possible. I just have to figure out... Um, I, I don't know just how to fill out the label or if there's if there's any way I don't know if there's priority for Canada but or we can just come kidnap you <laughs> the abduction get you out of the snow for a little while but um day old chili it tastes way better it just I don't know what it is but it's like I made the chili yesterday. It's really good. It's got um, it's 100% organic. Everything: the peppers, the onions, the tomatoes, the beans. Uh, three different kinds of beans. It's got um, grass-fed Adirondack uh, red red cattle cattle in it. So for the beef, and it's also got um, venison, deer. And this stuff is uh, it's just on point, man. My coworkers have been eating it like crazy. I made a big crock pot. One of them. Took some home last night, then just ate it for lunch again today. So look at the big chunk of meat. I mean, whew, it's hot still. Yeah, I came in this morning. Took the crock pot out of the fridge, put it down, put that baby on low, and let it warm up and just, and it's, it's, it's perfect now. It was still good yesterday, but not as good. Awesome. Yeah, guys, get to get to get linked up, man. That's pretty cool. Walker, Walker Text Pepper, your, your channel's doing really good. My channel is also a recycled channel. I really wish I didn't go that route because I had it's since 2011. I posted video stuff that had copyright stuff, uh, stuff that got um, like marked or taken down. You know, just it, the channel was never had any any use really, so I deleted everything off it, and we but just to, then I, this was kind of complete accident. We delete everything, and I put the first video was Mrs. Bullcow in that pepper eating competition, and about a week later we said let's do some pepper reviews. So, yeah, oh guys, stay tuned, man. I'm gonna be working on a a sick project. We are gonna actually take clips and we're gonna do the the top ten hottest peppers that we've ever eaten. And you guys will get to see some uh, some footage. Walker, you seen the, the little clip of Miss Bokal yesterday. That's not on YouTube yet. That that clip you seen is not on YouTube. So 
we are going to actually have top 10 hottest peppers that we've eaten, of course. Um, and there are some doozies, man. You guys are going to see me in panic mode a lot. And you're going to see Mrs. Boca in panic mode about three, four times. And we're going to put together little clips. I've already got a, a cool intro um, in the, the works and in the, in the mind. And uh, so it's going to take me a little time to put that together. So probably about two weeks. Tonight, though, we will be uploading the um, the video of us mixing all of Ed Curry's sauces together. It was just an idea because when we have burritos, we love different flavors. And so we usually get three, four sauces out and just kind of like put them, this one on the plate. And at some point, there's just a little mixture. And so all of these are hot. We did the seven pot yellow, uh, super hot, the scorpion blend, the seven. Uh, so we did the, the yellow blend. The seven pot blend, the scorpion blend, the uh, extra hot edition of the Pepper X Gator sauce, and the Triple X Gator uh, re Reaper squeezins all mixed together. I put a little Taco Rojo in there, and man, it was freaking phenomenal. I'm telling you, we had no clue how it was going to turn out. I knew it would probably be, be good, but the flavor and uh, the heat, I could not believe the heat. And I'm telling you why, I think, because you're mixing other peppers. The seven pot has a build. The scorpion's got an upfront burn, okay? Um, the triple X, you know, the, the other two are just extremely hot. But they're all different kinds of burns. And then some of the sauces are thinner. So when I shook them up, the, the two thicker ones, and got all that stuff out of there, now you're taking a bite, and it's like it dissipates more right through your mouth. And I'm telling you, it's hotter. Like, it's all them sauces together is hotter than any one of them sauces standing alone. And that was awesome. Mrs. Bocow, we uh, we shut the video off before we got too lit. I mean, we, you hear us talking about how hot it was. But afterwards, Mrs. Bocow was lit. We had to stop eating the hot sauce. We thought we were going to eat the whole jar that we kind of, the mixture we made. We actually saved some. Um, she got lit. I got lit. And then she started screaming. So, yeah, there's a, there's a lot of screaming in my house. Number one, Mrs. Bullcow with cat cramps. That's the number one loud noise you will hear every single day. Ah, death cries. Number two, my five-year-old will let out a scream because she likes to grab food and share plates of snacks with my wife. Well, guess what? My wife puts tincture and pepper powder on everything. So at some point throughout the day, my little daughter will actually get something hot and she'll kind of like, ah, you know, but she, she eats hot stuff. She just does it if it's something like crazy, of course, you know, burns her a little bit. Number three scream is me looking for the remote control. And number four would be the baby. Can you believe that? The baby's usually crying because she don't like watching commercials. Yeah. So that's it. That's how things go at the bull cow house, man. Yeah, it's, it's just funny. It's It's really comical. Um, you know, love my family and everything. It's just, it's just hilarious. Like if somebody were to hear the noises and say, wonder what's going on, they would probably not think it was those things, you know, they think it's something else. But yeah, my wife is a cap cramp queen. She gets cap cramps every day. She does not know when to quit eating hot stuff. She, me, I'll tell you right now, I'm being more careful than ever. I got cap cramps yesterday. But they went away quick. I happened to have a banana with me at work, and I went and made a cup of coffee, and within like 20 minutes they were gone, and it was just I took care of them. But anyways, yeah. So uh, we will uh, upload that video tonight, and um, also uh, stay tuned. In the next two weeks, we're gonna do the top 10 hottest peppers we've ever eaten. It is gonna be epic. And uh, God bless you guys. And Steve, get a hold of me on Facebook so I can send you some Uncle Bull Cow.